All right, jump it into round four. Let's hope this one goes better than the uh, previous two. This hand's fine. Hmm. Not snow covered. Could maybe be something like show and tell. Could also just be Delver. It does kind of suck that I don't quite know what I want to put back with this brainstorm yet. Like, if we draw swords, is that a good card? Hard to say. Might be a reason to play Koatl and step on my turn, too. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Since we don't know what we need yet. Like, it's more likely to be Sneak and Show, but this Plains is showing me otherwise. Okay. Um, it's good to know. I generally don't like to force Stone Forge Mystic. I think that, you know, you can deal with the equipment they get pretty well. Okay. Doesn't mean they don't have batter stall. I think I'm just gonna off the stone forge here. Is that even true? Yeah, because if they put in batter skull is that kind of annoying? That's their whole turn. I'm definitely fighting over this. I actually don't know how much I care about them putting in a Sword of Fire and Ice. I think I'm just going to make a food. Putting in Sword of Fire and Ice basically takes their whole turn up. Um, Same batter skull, so I'm fine with them like passing effectively.
surprised they didn't attack. Feels pretty free. And the difference between six and five loyalty is pretty big here. So I could exchange Coatl for Stoneforge Mystic and then play Teferi and bounce my Coatl. Is that good? I don't know. Let's start with Teferi. Okay. They have a Swords to Plowshares. What happens? They kill the Stoneforge. They kill one of my Planeswalkers. That doesn't seem good. I'm just going to make this an elk. Even if they put in sword and equip it to Snapcaster, it still trades with the elk. So I think we're just going to go for a sword, snap swords. Obviously it depends a little bit on what they do. I assume they're just going to equip to something. Uh, so yeah, let's just kill that. They don't have good attack, so I'm not going to snap swords anything. I'd rather just uh, save it. So plus this. Play this. See what we draw. I might turn the batter spell into an elk. That seems reasonable. Just because it stops them from, you know, constantly bouncing and replaying it with Stoneforge. Which they can do that now that they have five mana. Yeah, let's just do that. Yuck. Okay. Let's hope they just are trying to equip the Sword of Fire and Ice. That would obviously be better for us than um, killing our creatures. Alright, 
So let's snap swords this. And then we can attack Jace for probably lethal. All right, so make this an elk. How do we want to attack? Um, I think we want to leave Stoneforge back. Cause, so obviously if we swing all out, we can kill the Jace, but we lose some creatures. I think it's better to leave some things back. Because then if they want to save Jace, they have to lose their creatures and um, if they don't, if they let Jace die, they don't get to, you know, have good attacks on the way back. So yeah, Jace, 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 sure. It puts them in a more difficult position than if we just swung out. If we just swung out, they would kill two of our things and then still have a batter skull. As it stands, we get to kill Jace next turn. Um, it's a question of if I'm bouncing my astrolabe or just playing this back to basics. I think we are ahead enough that we can take a turn off of bouncing just to keep the Teferi around. Certainly possible that they have drawn some sort of force of will effect with their Jace brainstorms. I was going to say we might have to bounce the snap just to kill the Jace, but that means we don't. So.
know what to do here. So we could terminus and then make an elk. We could exchange the astrolabe for the stone forge again. Um, or we could just swords it instead of attacking. I kind of like exchanging. It forces them to put more things onto the battlefield um, if they want to equip their equipment. And then we can terminus that potentially. Like if they play true name nemesis, we don't just want to waste this terminus. Um, and the only thing we really lost here is loyalty on the Oko. Who are they targeting? Me. All right, so I guess in response, I'll just cast Terminus. Neat, they didn't even want to see my hand. All right, I think we would have been fine. Okay, so obviously Power Blast is great. I think Veil is good. Obviously Return to Nature is good. I think this is good. I think Mentor is good and Jace. Um, Bless of Storm seems probably a little bit too situational. Um, I like trimming one forest. I like trimming the back to basics. Um, the opponent's deck is very, very grindy but also plays the board so it's kind of tough to sideboard just because you want all your swords and your terminus etc um. yeah what to cut next is really tough actually maybe we trim one swords I feel like I should make a sideboard guy at some point so I'm not just Fumbling around without a sideboard. I think Spell Pierce is good. They're playing like Jace. Spell Snare is good. They have so many two drops. Maybe it is a second swords. Like, you don't really care too much about the actual Stoneforge Mystic. You care more about the equipment. And you have things like Coatl and stuff to block. Tavares seems really good there. I think a second astrolabe seems all the loose. All right, let's do that. No, that's bad. That's what lost us our last game was trimming down our forces and then not having enough free interaction. Maybe the mentor isn't good. That can't be right. We're going to do the lazy man's option and the cut a ponder and then submit. That also might be wrong, but. Tan's fine. Has a good one, two, three. Teferi can reset some tempo if we. Uh... Fall behind. I'm going to fetch a forest and do this. If by chance that I want to like spell pierce this, it gives me the option to play Koal on turn two. Um, whereas if I let on planes, that would not have been an option. Obviously, there's some merit to preserving fetch lands, but like 
sometimes people will see like blood in the water even if it's not there and um you know if you just go plains astrolabe to be like oh like they probably don't have blue mana which isn't the case here but um it still would hurt us enough that i don't really want to bother um giving them that option So let's play Uro. I think it's a little bit better than Teferi, just because it um, ramps us up with mana. Um, Force is probably good enough. I'm going to just fetch away the extra land. Like, if they play a Jace next turn, obviously, we want to have at least some sort of answer to that. And they didn't do anything on the first two turns, so it's very likely that they have, you know, some sort of big follow-up. Like if their hand is in cantrips or Stoneforge Mystics, it's almost certainly like true name, other equipment, Jace. Could also be counter spell counter magic. Um uh, I mean, I think we have to force this because otherwise the force is dead. We don't really want them bouncing our arrow. little sloppy, but it doesn't matter here. Obviously, it's just better to have the Ashley one tapped. Let's see if they force back. Probably will. Um, oh, okay. Um, so I'm just going to use this as a draw, too. Verdict's a nice pickup. Um, I'm not sure if we want to use it just on this true name, because Uro just, like, Races true name so well. We might want to wait for them to add more to the board. Hmm. Basically, if they force here, it's like a little annoying, but we'll fill it up soon. Let's just try to power blast this. It'll be nice if we trade one for one with this Teferi. Uh, looks like we did. Kind of what we expected, but like at that point, it's drawn a, two cards and gained you know twelve life. So I think that's very fine. Um, and the true name just basically is not an issue at all right now. 
I almost want to play Mentor and like just play to the board. Just start racing it. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm actually going to use the return to nature to get rid of the swords to plowshares. All right, that's the game. Cool. All right, so we are two and two so far. Um, I will be back soon for the fifth round. Um, hopefully we can pull out a winning league. Not, you know, what you want going in, but, you know, hopefully uh, it'll be satisfying. All right, see you guys soon.